Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty. As this White Tails team has turned heads across the NCAA, starting out 2 0 with new red shirt freshman quarterback Justin D. Roberto. And we are going up against Virginia, another ranked team in the top 25. So with this, we could go on to 3-0 in non-conference play. They did lose their first game versus Notre Dame in a horrible game. As you see their quarterback, Micah McKenzie, a senior, only 79 overall, went 5 of 16. Just a terrible game from him. They do have a good running game, though. Jamie Broussard ran for 96 yards, but look at We found a weak link. Their offensive line gave up six sacks to Notre Dame. We have to take advantage of that. Justin DiRoberto is throwing the ball well. Four touchdowns, one interception through two games. Jabari Blaze has 122 yards off of 27 attempts. Doing all right. I wouldn't say that he's doing bad at all. I do want to get the ball to Adam Murphy just a little bit more. He only has five attempts. Coretta is leading the way in receptions, 153 yards as well to go along with that. Storm is leading the team in yards. And leading the team on defense, Marvin Woods is having himself a phenomenal start. Five tackles for loss, two sacks, 11 solo tackles. And I'm just looking for the breakthrough of Jonathan Simmons. It's going to come soon. I know it is. He's having a great year. He's just getting double teamed. On a lot of plays, he's going to break through one of these games. So let's kick this game off as it's our first home game of the season. As here is Storm back to receive the kick, and he's going to get tackled at about the 20-yard line. And out comes DiRoberto. He's been pretty hot to start out this season. Can he continue it in this game? First pass across the middle. That's Xavier Storm in traffic, only picking up a gain of three. D. Roberto, remember, was redshirted and has been sitting under a couple of quarterbacks in Miller. And also even Nathan Beaver, he saw him play for a little bit as a high school senior. And now he gets his shot. So now in comes Bryant Simmons, who has been starting out in the uh, backup position as well. And there is another carry for him. He's had a few carries this season. I want to get him going as a mobile quarterback. Here's Jabari Blaze with the carry out to the right side. That is going to be a gain of eight as he moved the ball across the 50-yard line. So first and 10, throw out to the right side. That's Chris Coretta using the stiff arm and getting to about the 32-yard line on that one. Coretta's had a fast start to this season as well. So Virginia does send the blitz on the next play. Here's a throw out to Coretta. He can't hold on to that one as that brings it to a third and eight now. Rushing four is Virginia. Throw out to the right side. It's Coretta again. He's got it this time. 11 yards tripped up from behind and a first down. So we come out with the five wide receiver set here. Five out to the right. Here is Roberto scrambling out to the right. Throws that way. Touchdown, Francis Smith. 16 yards out. Roberto is impressive on the first drive. Five of six, 61 yards and a touchdown to finish it out. So here comes Virginia out onto the field. They've been reading the scouting report. They know we've been having a hard time stopping the run. They come out right away. Big run down the right sideline. Keys breaks a couple of tackles and gets tackled from behind by Derek and Pinto. And wow, this has been our Achilles heel so far this year. Teams have just been running all over us, and they know it. Here is Virginia now at about the 22-yard line. Under center is McKenzie. He had a bad game in the opener. He's going to try to scramble out to the left side. And look at this. He's breaking away. He's going to take it to about the nine-yard line. Let's take another look. I don't know what Shaq Royal was doing on this one, but he had the tackle. And he just allows McKenzie to just kind of zigzag. That may be just Heisman cheese there. And now they get it inside the 10-yard line under center. Hand off. Marvin Woods in the backfield. That's a big tackle by the senior and we get him to a second and go at about the 11 yard line. Delayed handoff, another tackle, loss of two yards, Marvin Woods. Wow, this guy's having an amazing start to the season. It's a third and goal, this time McKenzie moves in the pocket, throws to the end zone, he's got a man and they're gonna, gonna, they're gonna call it incomplete. But take a look, they do go to the booth and that is gonna be ruled a catch. And Virginia is on the board here 
seven to seven to start out this game. So let's not make this another shootout. Come on defense, let's make a stop. Don't put all the pressure on this offense. Here's a throw out to the right side. That's caught Bryce Greer. Look at that one-handed grab in traffic. Bryce Greer is gonna have a great career. Just watch out, he is an athletic tight end. That's a big time catch by a big time player. So now second and nine, we run Coretta in motion. Here's Roberto, gonna throw back right to him and Coretta's open in the flat by himself. Look at him putting on the moves. Gain of 15, Coretta is having himself an amazing start to the season as well. Here's D. Roberto on a play action, just trying to get out of the pocket and throw it away. He can't get rid of it. It's a sack by Ryan Booth. So third and 16, throw out to the left side. Maurice is open and he's open for a big 21 yard gain. And a first down, Maurice highlights Jackson. He's been really good in the slot. I don't want to understate what it's like to have these guys in the slot. Maurice highlights Jackson is the route runner. And then Jacoby Beck, don't forget about him. He's the speedster. So De Roberto throw across the middle on a third and one. That's Xavier Storm open 11 yards to about the 11 yard line and a first down. So first and 10, here is a screen pass. Got it set up, but De Roberto Throws it late, and he gets it caught, but Francis Smith will lose about one yard on that one. Bring it to a third and 11. D. Roberto now buying some time. Throw across the middle. It's Maurice Jackson. Touchdown, his second of the season. And there we go. Roberto puts together another big drive. And wow, this offense looks dangerous as we take the 14-7 lead here at home. So can we stop the run? Here is Keys, a running uh, run out of the backfield, and there he is, 13 yards, man. What's up with our defensive front? I think it starts with a guy like, I gotta admit it, Jonathan Simmons. We need to see the impact from him, and he hasn't really stepped up so far, along with big Bobby Mathis and Justin Jameson. All these guys gotta step up. So here is McKenzie on the next play, throw out to the right side, in a big, Time throw, this time finding Andrew James and 34 yards down the field. Now they're in our territory. So McKenzie dumps it off to the right side. This time finding Keys, there is Simmons for the stop. And that's a tackle for about five yards. So third and five this time, McKenzie. Here he is from the pocket, thrown out to the right side. He finds his man Hill who gets pushed out of the bounds by Marquise Dorsey, the freshman. And now they get it inside the 10 yard line under center McKenzie, delayed handoff, Keys fights forward, tackled by Simmons, somehow found that crease and gets tackled from behind, gain of five. So third and goal this time, handoff, Keys cuts back, touchdown, three yards out. He's got amazing vision, you can see it. And they tie this game up at 14 apiece. So four and a half minutes left here in the first half. Throw out to the left side. That's Coretta who takes a huge hit, but holds on to it in traffic, a first down. So now we get into about the 48 yard line. First and 10 here. Di Roberto scrambling out to the right side. Nice block in that time by Nichols to the right tackle. Throwing the ball deep, wide open. Xavier Storm, 53 yards, touchdown. Take a look at this route. Xavier Storm just pretty much puts the safety in a spin cycle. He turns them all the way around in Storm. You're not catching him with that speed, and that's a touchdown. Di Roberto, three touchdown passes in the first half. So here comes Virginia back out onto the field, trying to run the ball. There's a nice play by Impito, turning him inside, and Blake Childress comes up with the stop. That's a gain of two yards. So McKenzie under center here for a second and eight. Lob through the left side. That's going to be caught by Hill. And that's a gain of 24 and a first down. We want them to throw the ball because Keyes is a really good running back. He's got great vision, as you've seen so far in the first half. But here's McKenzie showing off his arm talent, completing two to Hill right away. So here's the throw out to the left side. This time James breaks the tackle from Marquise Dorsey and gets down the sideline and pushed out of bounds by Ryan Robinson at about the 10 yard line. So first and 10, handoff, keys to the right side, throws off Nathan Beaver and gets tripped up and tackled from behind from Jonathan Simmons. He's actually got four tackles here in the first half, so he's been on this game. So here's a handoff, keys again, touchdown. Wow, I don't know what we're gonna do up front, but we definitely have to change something 
because something's got to give. We got to make some stops here. It's 21 all in the first half. So here is Jabari Blaze finally getting going on the run game, picking up the first down. So now under two minutes left, D. Roberto scrambles out to the right. He's going to get rid of it down the right sideline. That's Jacoby Beck who's open to about the opposing 30-yard line, 32 yards. D. Roberto has more touchdown passes than incompletions. Throw out to left side on a second and eight. This time Xavier Storm gets it, 16 yards. Man, he is over 100 yards in the first half. So now D. Roberto, five wide receivers out there. Quick throw across the middle. Coretta fighting forward to about the two-yard line. He gets tackled first and goal. Here we go. So 20 seconds left here in the first half. This time Coretta gets the handoff, and whoa, he runs over a defender. Number 47, he's in for the touchdown. Chris Coretta, they didn't expect this. A handoff to the tight end on a jet sweep, and he just makes that guy pay. It's a touchdown as we make it 28 to 21 going into halftime. This has been exciting. I can't wait for the second half. So here we go. Can we stop Keys? I mean, this guy has been running all over us. Here's a throw across the middle. Taylor open. And that was a lucky throw. If that was lower, that could have been an interception. So here's McKenzie. Play action fake this time. Throw across the middle off his back foot. He's got Wheeler, and he takes a big hit from Ryan Robinson and Blake Childress, but it's a first down at about the 50-yard line. So first and 10, McKenzie this time. Throw to left side, and he throws a perfect pass. Wheeler again to about the 34-yard line, 16 yards, and a first down. So second and five this time. Handoff, Keys, nice stop on the edge by Ryan Robinson. And now we get him to a crucial third and five. Can we come up with a stop here? As here's McKenzie from the shotgun. Four wide receivers out there. Throw to the left side. Keys picks up a block. He's got it. First down, nine yards for the running back. So they are three for three here in the red zone. Can we stop him this time? McKenzie, handoff. Look at the blocking. He runs over Ryan Robinson and stumbles forward to about the three-yard line. Wow. They are just killing us running the ball. So why not give it right back to him? Keys, this time he gets stopped. Ryan Robinson in the backfield and Shaq Royal. And Ryan Robinson's got eight tackles in this game. So now second and goal carry to the left side. Keys throws off a defender. That's Nathan Beaver. That's a touchdown. Beaver's got to make that tackle. Six yards, touchdown. And it just goes back and forth here in this game. So here's Xavier Storm on the kickoff return. A big hole. He's got a lot of room, and he's got speed down the right sideline. He gets tripped up at about the 44-yard line, setting us up with pretty good field position. So here is Jabari Blaze. Not been able to get anything going yet again. He's got 43 yards on 11 attempts here in this game. So third and eight. Throw out to left side. This time Maurice Jackson breaks the tackle. He's open to about the 20-yard line. And he's got a good first down on that one. That's a tough nose fighting for yardage on that one by the freshman. So here is Smith in the game, getting open across the middle. He's going to fight forward to about the six-yard line, 14 yards away. And here we go, second and goal. D. Roberto, three wide receivers out there, two tight ends. Rolls out to the right, throws that way. Bryce Greer, touchdown, his first career catch. And man, is he gonna be special. I highlighted it early on last episode and the first game. He's gonna be a dynamic playmaker in the future of this program. I can't wait for him to really jump on this offense. So here is Micah McKenzie this time from the shotgun after a penalty, and that's gonna be a throwaway, bringing it to a third and 15. This is a crucial down for us. Can we make a stop? Deep shot down the right sideline, and that's gonna be incomplete. Micah McKenzie finally has an errant throw. And now we get them to punt the ball away. And here we go. Now we have possession up seven. We got to control this clock. Handoff to the left side. Blaze hits, gets hit hard. That is a gain of six. So now at about the 46-yard line, play action fake this time. Deer Roberto doesn't have the speed to get away, but he does get rid of the pass. That's caught. Price Greer, two yards. And he didn't have enough oomph on that one to get it past the first down marker. So now we move into the fourth quarter. Handoff to the left side. That's Jabari, but he can't fight forward. And that's a gain of nothing as we line up here for down territory. Why not? Our first home game. 
Throw to the right side. It's picked off. D. Roberto's first mistake of the game. And Johnson takes it down the left sideline. And that's going to be an interception. And take a look. They do get a block in the back, so this play does come back. But they do get possession here at about their own 44-yard line. So now they got about seven minutes left here to tie this game up. McKenzie running the screen pass out to the right. He gets rid of it after breaking a sack, and he gets it away to Keys. That's a loss of three yards. Who else? Marvin Woods. So second and three, under center this time. Throw across the middle. Hill, he's open. It's tight end, and he's picking up 10 yards on that one, and that brings it to a third and three. Can we make a third down stop here? McKenzie under center, throw out to the right side. He's got Hill who does catch it but can't get upfield. And that's a fourth and inches and they're gonna line up to go for it here. We're gonna send the all out blitz here. Handoff by the fullback, Dukes. He does barely get the first down on that one. Gain of just one, just enough. So now here they go. Couldn't get anything on first and second down. Third and nine, throw across the middle. That's Taylor who gets tackled by Blake Childress and Patrick McGee, the senior. And here we go, fourth and two, another one. This time they can't hand it off to the fullback. Too far for two yards, hand off. That's a tackle in the backfield. Nathan Beaver and Blake Childress are there for the stop. Nice play by the senior safety. And now here we go, five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Can we milk this clock while moving the ball? Here's a throw out to the right side. That's Maurice Jackson, gain of seven yards for him. He's having a big game, five receptions. 72 yards and a touchdown. Di Roberto from the shotgun this time. Jabari Blaze out of the backfield. That's a first six yards. Keep moving the chains. Keep running this clock. So three and a half minutes left here. Di Roberto, play action fake. Throw across the middle. It's going to be caught. Maurice highlights Jackson. And that's why they call them highlights out of high school. Man, look at that catch. Number 18 is going to be special in this offense. I kind of, he kind of reminds me of a more athletic Brett Hill. Brett Hill didn't have the speed, but here's another carry. Jabari plays, coughs it up. And look who gets his revenge. It's Taylor, who was run over earlier. He cough, he falls on the ball. And wow, Virginia is right back in this game, down seven points. And they forced a big fumble on that one. So here is UVA back on an offense. Here's a quick throw across the middle, Andrew James. 22 yards. So here's McKenzie this time. Throw out to the left side. He's got James on the sideline again. 11 yards. Oh no. This is turning out to be a comeback. Here's a throw out to the left side. And they're going to rule it a fumble. And Shaq Royal falls on it. Take a look. McKenzie just kind of flips it. And it hits his offensive lineman's foot. And Shaq Royal is able to fall on it. Wow. What a mistake by Micah McKenzie as Shaq Royal heads up football, falls on that fumble, and we get it back. And Jabari Blaze hold on to that ball. So here's a handoff to him on the next play, and that's a loss of two. And now that brings it to a second and 12. We got to kind of move these sticks. Throw out to the left side. It's picked off by Jackson. Another turnover. That makes it three in this game for the Whitetails. Justin DiRoberto, second interception of the game. And man, we're just keeping them in this game. And Virginia comes back out onto the field. So our defense has to come up big late in the that. fourth quarter. Throw across the middle on the first play. Picked off by the freshman, Marquise Dorsey. Wow, what a sequence of events here towards the end of this game. Four turnovers late. And look at what happens. We get the ball back. And now we bring in Adam Murphy to close out this game. I just do not just trust Jabari Blaze in this one. So here is Justin DiRoberto from the shotgun this time. Handoff. Adam Murphy, a big hole, and we get them to use their second timeout. And now all we have to do is to get them to use that third, burn this clock. Handoff. Adam Murphy to the right side. He cuts up field, and he's tackled. A minute 54 left. No timeouts left here for Virginia. So now we move this clock down inside, inside a minute and a half. Third and four, throw out to the right side. It's Jacoby Beck with a diving catch. 11 yards, and that one will seal the game. Three and oh, what an effort by Jacoby Beck. Looking like Maurice Jackson out there. 
And wow, the senior comes through. And that one seals this game. 3-0 for the Whitetails. Our second win versus a top 25 team in the first three games. And Justin DiRoberto, four touchdown passes. And what a win. And what a defensive turnaround in the second half. We only allowed seven in the second, 21 in the first. And what a win by this defense. And wow. We lucked out a little bit. Jabari Blaze fumbling that ball. I thought it was the end, but our team persevered. What a play by the redshirt freshman, Marquise Dorsey, at the end of the game, getting that interception as Jabari Blaze ran for 51. Marquise, Maurice highlights Jackson. Gets six receptions, 87 yards, a big game from him. Storm doesn't get a catch in the second half at all, but went over 100 in the first and he ends up getting a touchdown on that big play. And then Price Greer gets his first career touchdown as well as Francis Smith gets in again. And he's been pretty good as well on the outside. Defensively, Ryan Robinson had 11 tackles in this game. But Marvin Woods, wow, what a game from him. Four tackles, uh, assisted tackles, four solo tackles, three for loss. I mean, that guy is just amazing. I mean, good luck replacing him. And, man, I got to admit, our run defense is going to have to change a little bit. I don't know what we're going to change, but I'm finding that Brad Robinson might be a little better now because we do have Justin Jamison in as the nose tackle on most plays. But when we put Brad Robinson in there, it seems like teams do not run well versus us, so we might have to make that shift. So next episode will be the recruiting episode as we highlight the recruits in high school going into season six and this is gonna be fun and it's gonna be a lot of new recruits that maybe the caliber is a lot higher because remember we are a four-star school now so we can finally go after four-star recruits so that's gonna do it here in this episode i'll see you guys next episode for the recruiting special hit subscribe hit that like button and we, you can see we are number 20 in the country so let's get it Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope.